We dance to one song and one song only. It's provocative. Yeah, for sure. Gets the people going. Here we go. All right. Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel or you have not already done so, consider subscribing, especially if you like sneakers because we upload a lot of sneaker videos. Buckets, what is a lot? Almost every single day. Almost every single day. I mean, look, look at the boxes. They're all around me. It's like, I don't know, when the, is it gonna be an avalanche of sneaker boxes one day? Who knows? Uh, you can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Mr. Former Simpson. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button. Really does go a long way. And the last thing I wanna mention, last but not least, uncivilizedstore.com. Buckets, who is behind the camera, and myself, him and I started a clothing brand a few years ago. That is where we sell said clothing. So boom, the t-shirt I'm wearing now is our latest release. There are some of these available. There are also a couple other pieces. Buckets, a couple other garments. For sure. Are you a garmento? Not really. Okay, I'm a garmento. Okay. You excited about the sneakers? I am. All right. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. We're diving in. We're diving in in three, two, one, bang, bang. This is the Adidas Yeezy 350 Boost Turtle Dove. released as a part of Yeezy Day back in August. I think it was August 2nd and retail was 230 bucks. Got to say thank you to the good people over at Kicks R for us for the assist on this pair. They are a local resale shop down here in the Tampa area. We appreciate them looking out as always. Now, this is an interesting sneaker in a lot of ways. I mean, for one, I think a lot of people, Buckets, correct me if I'm wrong, I think a lot of people think or consider this to be the best Adidas Yeezy sneaker of all time. For sure. So I don't necessarily feel that way, but I have seen that a lot. I don't think people really expected these to re-release until rumors started to circulate. I certainly didn't think they were going to re-release. I mean, they dropped originally back in 2015. I think by the time it's 2019, 2020, you're like, all right, the turtle dove is is gone forever, or you have to go pay that high ticket to get that original release, but yet here they are. The hype on them was through the roof back then in 2015, and it's just, it's kind of interesting, Buckets, sneaker years are almost like dog years, right? Seven years feels like 50. For sure. And it's interesting to see how some things have changed a lot in that time period and other things have kind of stayed the same. Now, as far as staying the same goes, they did a pretty good job with the re-release. There are some subtle differences between the 2022 version and the 2015 version, but they are very, very similar. So they kind of stay true to the original release in that sense. You've got this turtle dove prime knit upper with the classic black and gray pattern. You know, I feel like this pattern and this colorway, they have kind of become iconic 
with Yeezy fans. Whether you love this sneaker or hate this sneaker, I think that is the case. And you've got the same sort of vibe on these rope laces, as you can see, black and gray, super soft black suede on the inner or the medial side of the sneaker. It says Yeezy on one, YZY, and the Adidas logo on the other. They've got that classic stitching, that thick stitching down the middle of the sneaker, which is part of the 350 signature look. Kind of an off-white-ish color around the trim on the ankle here, and almost like a felty cushion panel on the inside of the heel for comfort. Cozy Boy certified. You've got the really rugged pull tab on the back of the sneaker with the subtle red hits. More of that off-white color on this chunky 350 midsole same color on the outsole and you can see that boost peeking through buckets buckets when boost was life was the most life what a time to be alive oh so you're saying boost is still life i still think it's really comfortable but this was the height a boost yeah this was that man 2015 2016 it was crazy and that's what i mean as far as like going back i mean you look at a sneaker like the ultra boost which is pretty much you know dead in the water at this point and man looking back remembering the hype it's tough but you're the anti-hype beast so you're immune i mean i was a huge fan of the original ultra boost that's true you were yeah that original color the purple yeah that, that was a good pair and like you said it is still comfortable I mean, I'll still wear a pair. I mean, we, we probably got a pair around here somewhere. I'll still wear a pair. I think this sneaker is dope at the end of the day. Like I said, a lot of people would consider this the best Adidas Yeezy sneaker ever. So it is cool to see it come back. You know, at one point, these were very unobtainable. And obviously now they are easier to get your hands on. Don't get me wrong. They still resell for a pretty penny. I think they're going for about 500 bucks, depending on the size. But that is a lot less than the original pair from 2015 goes for. So more attainable, even though they are still kind of hard to get your hands on. I guess my thing is, I don't love the 350 V1, just generally speaking, as a model, as a silhouette. It's not one of my favorites. I don't think it's aged incredibly well. I also do prefer the V2 quite a bit. I mean, like for me personally, Buckets, I much prefer the Zebra V2. So I think that the Zebra, is the best 350 boom i yeezy love it sneaker it's my favorite 350 uh you said yeezy yeah oh so for me it's just my favorite 350 that's what i said yeezy 350 oh, okay cool yeezy in general and i've said this before i think the best adidas yeezy model is the 700 i like the 700 specifically the wave runner yeah I can see that. That's my favorite. But as far as 350s go, I like the Zebra. Like I'm taking the Zebra over these, but at the same time, I do understand why this pair and this colorway is kind of put on that pedestal. 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 I say pedestal sometimes. Pedestal. Yeah. And it's because, listen, it was at the height of this boost stuff. It's Kanye and all the uh, allure that he brings and and fans, fanfare. Yeah. He brings the fanfare. But it was also the first 350 colorway. Yeah, for sure. There was the 750. Right. There was a 750, that gray pair. There was the black pair. And then, boom, it was like the 350. And people lost their minds. Yeah. And this was the first colorway of that. So I understand why it gets the hype kind of. I think also it needs to be said, Kanye, right? Now, there's a little bit of stuff going on between him and Adidas right now. You know, he was taking some shots. I don't know if he was happy with the whole Yeezy Day thing. I don't think that he was. We'll see what happens with that partnership down the line. That's a topic and a conversation for another day. Right now, listen, we dance to one song and one song only, right? This is about the turtle dog. Yes. That's the song. It's provocative. It gets the people going. Kanye's impact, right? Whether you're a fan of Kanye or not, his impact is pretty undeniable. We've talked about this in previous videos when it comes to sneakers, when it comes to fashion. And look, a release like this really proves that. Seven years later, right? The Ultra Boost is cooked, yet kaput. Kaput. F fin. Finito. Finito. There you go. Wrong gesture. Yeah. I, I just, I like to fit it in there. Yeah, I can. it's good. It's good. So seven years later, 
and the 350 turtle dove it still rings bells i, I think that that matters i think that that you kind of have to acknowledge that no matter how you feel about the sneaker no matter how you feel about kanye so impact wise these are a 10 out of 10 for sure these are a 15 out of 10 for me no i know because they kind of just like had that whole era you know in a hold in a stronghold and even now seven years later so but for me personally i probably give them like an eight and a half out of ten just as far as wearability for me myself and like i said i don't think that the v1 the v1 doesn't have much shape to it whereas i think the v2 has a little more shape to it and then obviously the 500 and the 700 those are a little bit more uh traditional sneakers yeah this was like you know boost mixed with the whole sock shoe type of deal which was never my super thing thing yeah so i'll give him an eight and a half out of ten uh i i do respect them scale of one to ten so i respect them tremendously right you already said 15 out of 10 for impact yeah uh, i'm gonna go seven and a half seven and a half out of ten it's a pretty high score for you yeah because of all of the factors but i've never actually worn 350s for any extended period of time so this is the best yeah you've never been a big 350 guy anti-hype beast this is though the best 350 no, you're saying you said the Zebra was the best 350. Yeah, so when I saw the Zebra, I said that's the best Yeezy 350. For sure. And I still feel that way. This, the best 350 V1? Yeah, the Oxford Tan pair was really cool. Yeah, that was a nice pair. I love those, man. I ran those into the ground. Yeah. Damn, I forgot all about those. Okay, leave a comment below. Let us know how do you feel about the Turtle Dove? How do you feel about Yeezys in general? How do you feel about the V1 versus the V2? What are your thoughts, feelings, emotions? Leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place, right here at the workshop with the Brady's Degree. Heads up. I got nothing else. Buckets. Anything for me? I'm like a St. Bernard or something. Beethoven. Beethoven. Beethoven, bite this guy's wiener off. What what dog would I be? A St. Bernard? For sure. You would be a Doberman Pinscher or a Greyhound. Yeah. Or a Great Dane. Not a Great Dane. Not enough mass, not enough huskiness on you? Yeah, and they're not built for speed. Oh, so you're a speed guy? Big speed guy. Okay, there you go. Uh, leave a comment below. What dog would you be? I think that's a, probably a better question than, than the sneaker stuff. Adios. Thank you.